What up, gang? It's Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, the villain, feeling trilligan, and we are back on Course Party Blood Drive. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of addicted to this game. I, sh I, I really need to record some more P5, but for the first time ever, my attention isn't being taken by P5. I, I'm stuck on Course Party, bro. Y'all don't understand how much I love this game, but um, last time we finished chapter four, now we're getting into chapter five. We learned that Misuto is manipulating us. He's actually been going back and forth from home to heavenly host and directing us and lying to us. And he's planning something. I, honestly, I'm gonna be real. I never trusted Misuto at all. I, I'd rather put my faith into Magari. Like Magari a little crazy person, but she don't got them devil horns on her head. I, I knew Misuto was crazy when I saw that, them sa that satanic imagery all over his clothing. That's besides the point. Let's get into the game. Chapter five. Break down, break down. Hold on. It's a JoJo reference. More and more changes were now occurring in the real world. For the last few days, ghost sightings and unexplained death. The world began to take notice of the fear of the paranormal. In a certain Jerry old apartment building, one young man was using the internet to broadcast a live feed of himself. What am I watching? Hello, mom. Thanks for sending my allowance. Do something. I just don't know anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be fine. It's not like I'm dying or anything. At work? No, they're not bothering me anymore. I'll be home this weekend. Make make some make me some of that delicious miso soup, okay? I'll be looking forward to it. See you then. Bye bye. They got animation now. Oh dang. It's the freaking gremlin! That's one hell of a way. Meanwhile, an old man was on the roof of a department store with a knife causing quite a commotion. Stay back! Everybody's been walking all over me this whole time. I've already lost everything. What more do you want from me, jerk offs? I told you to stay back, jerk offs! Okay, we'll stay back. If you calm down, we can talk this out. But you need to come over here first. It's not safe there. That freaking gremlin. Go away! As the pillars of the six demons were released, and Nirvana began spilling out into reality. <laughs> All the color had drained from her face as she intently and somewhat incredulously watched the news broadcast unfold on her TV. Something's wrong. That is one hell of a way to start a chapter. What the freak? Miss Kuan shook her head as if trying to fling the unease from her body. When that didn't work, she put a palm on her temple, just as one might do when suffering from an intense headache. Are you alright, ma'am? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Thank you. She seemed to realize how she must have looked to her subordinate, so she straightened her posture and sat back down in her chair. Who are we playing as? It's just for the last several days, there's been more and more reports of ghost sightings and unexplained deaths. And yesterday, those numbers peaked. She tried changing the channel, but everyone featured the same story. Today, testimonials from eyewitnesses are spirits behind these attacks. The newsroom on the TV seems to be in a panic. 
The day's reports, they seem centered around Ebisu Station, originating from this residential home, this apartment building and the, this office building. Mr. Minia, are you getting this? Yes, I, I see a map with the location of each incident clearly marked. Thank you. The map displayed on a television included several Tokyo wards, and there were a good 50 or so red dots scattered throughout. Red was definitely the predominant color. The caption displayed above, this was sites of bizarre and unexplained deaths. It's displayed so clearly for all to see. The awareness is spreading. Please, you must uncover Ai's whereabouts as soon as possible. Understood. He promptly left the office to begin his search. Ms. Kuan, on the other hand, remained behind and sighed as the news report continued. The chief cabinet secretary is investigating the matter with due diligence. But the people in the affected areas are growing understandably impatient, anxious for a speedy resolution. This really gets an epi reaching epidemic levels. How are things out on the streets where you are? Out here, exorcism goods like these have been absolutely flying off the shelves as residents try to take matters into their own hands. My mom was watching the same story on the same channel, nervously nibbling rice crackers the whole time. I'm sorry, did you say exorcism? That's right. Many talismans, talisman stickers, exorcism crystals are just a few of the hot new items being sold at convenience stores and hardware stores throughout the area. The numbers they're moving are hard to believe for a modern first world country like our own. And demand is much higher than supply. Getting your hands on one of these is not easy. It brings to mind for this reporter, the food and water shortages one often sees in times of disaster. Interesting. Do these products actually work as advertised? And moreover, isn't it true that the strange nature of these incidents does not necessarily implicate them as supernatural? That's correct. It may simply be a case of fear and anxiety clouding good judgment. There has been an account, however, from an eyewitness who claims to have seen a long-haired female spirit in his window who screamed and vanished upon seeing one of these talismans. And there have been other similar stories told throughout these neighborhoods and side streets over the last few days. The city is currently mired in wide-scale ghost fever. It's interesting to note, too, that the first distributing recognizing this recognizes phenomenon to begin supplying exorcism goods to the local, local stores was PL Promotions. This company is known for dis distributing a wide variety of products at reasonable prices. Everything from health food to energetically imprinting imprinted surge water. Oh, isn't that Miss Kuan's company? My mom seemed a little surprised by this, though I can't imagine why, given all the improbable and very expensive things Miss Kuan had done for her. Even as their competitors price gauge with 50 yen bottled water and such, 50,000 yen water water, water and such, the price tag on PL goods remains the same, which has quickly made them very popular with consumers. Next, I'd like to talk a little more about the Tokyo aerial spear issue. We just received new information. According to the Ministry of Defense, a giant black orb that appeared in our skies has a few properties and ensure its presence will remain a mystery for some time yet. A magnetic field surrounds it 500 meters in diameter, affecting all measuring devices and aircrafts in range. This means helicopters and planes cannot safely approach the object. One airplane pilot attempted it, claims that a member of his crew instantly went berserk as they drew near, severely disrupting the craft's operation. It would seem that this so-called aerial spear is not about to give up its secret so easily. What the heck? That's my girl right there. Naomi. Yeah, y'all gotta get to Heavenly Host, bruh. Y'all y'all need to lock in. Y'all ain't been doing shit. And we still have no idea where Shinazaki is. Damn! It's hard to believe the number of missing persons could go up that much in such a short period of time. There are so many that the police don't have enough manpower to handle them all. What the hell is going on? Last rep's mom was beside herself with worry. I imagine she would be. We need to find her, and fast. Hey, Kishinuma lives on his own, right? Do you know his family at all? Maybe we should get in touch with them? Yeah, I thought about that. But I don't know any phone number under the other than his. 
He doesn't talk about his family very much. I tried looking them up in the phone book, but no luck. At this point, I think our only option left is to ask Miss Kuan if she let us in the Aiko's apartment. Yeah, I hate to ask something like that of a teacher, but I think you're right. I'm sure she won't mind if we let her keep an eye on us while we while we're there. But the problem is. Ever since she built that hot spring in my house, I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Yeah, she gave me the key to her place, but I haven't seen her since then either. I guess she's been busy at work. Not available. Outside the service area, her phone power switched off. Yo, did she go to Heavenly Host? No use, it won't connect. Well, it's getting late. Do you want to head back, Satoshi? What's wrong? Whoa! All right, freak. All right, freak. Naomi, let's go. Yeah. Not this way, though. Let's head back. Whoa, what the? Whoa, the phantoms are here now. Oh, my leg fell asleep. Satoshi, what are we looking at? I don't know. Just stay close to me. We're cooked. We're through. We're through. We're through. Oh, bro, we're through. Human cruelty never changes. Hey! It's in our nature, you ignorant fools! The stairs! Let's just charge through those shadows! I don't think that's smart! We don't have any other choice! Come on, Naomi! That is a large knife. You dare harass me! Did anybody harass you? <gasps> Man, was that a nuke? I was a no final explosion, bro. She thinks she's Vegeta, bro. She dropped the Megalodon. Are you too? All right. Are you hurt? No, we're uh. We're fine. Thank goodness, Satoshi Nakashima. I've learned the whereabouts of Ai Kishinuma and Shinazaki. The black spear loomed menacingly in the sky above us, and just behind it, the moon, which appeared unnaturally large. Heavenly Host Elementary. Nirvana. A strong wind began to blow through the city. Dried leaves and various bits of refuse were dancing through the air. It was the same sort of feeling you get when a hurricane is approaching. And I was planning to go out into it, which seemed to be worrying Yuka to no end. Where are you going, big brother? Huh? Oh, I got homework to do, so... She clearly saw right through me as she stared deeply into my eyes. It was like she was staring directly into my soul, where everything was laid bare. I felt like none of my secrets were safe. She could see them all plain as day. Does this have something to do with Heavenly Host? Plain as day indeed! Everything's fine! Just promise me you won't go outside, okay? Everything's fine. Hard to keep a straight face with a line like that. It didn't matter if it was true or not, though. My goal here was to just say what she wanted to hear to comfort her. You are not doing a good job. 
But contrary to that goal, she just suddenly began to cry. Yuka always had a better sixth sense than I did. Whenever something was bothering me, Yuka would always cry and attract attention on my behalf. Oh dear, what's wrong, Yuka? Satoshi? Uh, I have to go to Yoshiki's place for a bit. I'll be back soon. What? Now? Wouldn't it be a bother to go see him this late at night? It can wait till tomorrow, can it? Fuck no! I glanced at the clock. It was exa almost exactly nine. Well, it's kind of an emergency, so so you don't need to cry, Yuka. I'll be just fine, okay? Mom hugged Yuka from behind. Yuka, your brother's going out for a little, so how about you and I have ourselves some ice cream? Okay. I patted Yuka's head. She stopped crying thanks to Mom's masterful co 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in no time. I returned to my room, grabbed my large bag, and then was out the door. I arrived at the meeting spot, fully equipped and ready for the road ahead. As ready as one can be, anyway. It's Kuan, Naomi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Even as she was whipped by a powerful winds all around us, the look on Naomi's face was sol stolid. She seemed to be in a complete funk. What's wrong, Naomi? What the f What do you think is wrong? Damn it, maybe I didn't think this through enough. Even if she did have to prepare, I shouldn't have sent her back home. Fortunately, her somber expression quickly gave way to a smile and a slight giggle. You can't be serious. What is that? Can you even move with that giant backpack on? I don't see a giant backpack. Well, it's Heavenly Host, you know? I didn't think any more explanation than that was needed. We had to be ready for literally anything. Good. She's in better spirits than I thought. I laughed with her for a moment. I've had my company investigating this for some time now, and their research has finally yielded results. It's the influence of that other reality that's caused the spiritual presences in this world to begin casting their shadows from above. Ms. Kuan then produced her own set of Ever After stones. Though these were black in color and notably larger than the ones Aiko had shown Yoshiki and Shinazaki. They also had various mechanical parts attached to them, including some sort of charge meter that extended across the length of each stone. We used the leftover stone fragments from the red box I picked up at the Shinazaki residence to construct these, amplifying their energy with our own spiritual tools, functioning they're the same as the spirit items I used for traveling the heavenly host. So we can use them to get there ourselves then. Yes, but since these are man-made and in a rush no less, they'll need to recharge after every use. Which means we can't rely on them for continued travel. But when I think of her, lost in the halls of Heavenly Host, I just want to do whatever I can to save her. She must have lost her stones after she got there, through who knows what manner of horrifying circumstance, and is now alone crying, unable to get back home. Of course, I'll need to save Kishinuma and Shinazaki as well. Honestly, I should be going in alone with this mission being as dangerous as it is. Heavenly Host is a place where we lost a lot of our dearest friends. So if it really does exist and Shinazaki and Yoshiki still have some sort of score to settle in there, then we have to go with you and put an end to this whole mess. Hang in there, guys. We're coming. Please be alive. Imagine Miss Kuan. Imagine Miss Kuan gets killed by um by, by Miss Yui's phantom. <laughs> that would be funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Though I don't want that to happen. You two, what is this aura? No, I shouldn't ask. Even if you gave me an honest answer, there's likely nothing I could do to help you. With that statement, Miss Kuan forced a smile. Will you lend me your strength, Satoshi Nakashima? Let's do this. We'll save them all. Please, God above. 
Let's Please go. don't let me be too late. I hate to say it, but you're probably too late. To prepare for the upcoming expedition, Naomi had returned home, bracing for the worst, only to find her mother wasn't there. There was only a note in the living room. This is... That's the, um, the no. room where... What? That's the library, right? That's the room where, in the second building, where Aiko found Naho. Naomi, hey! Satoshi! Satoshi! We're here! No doubt about it. This is Heavenly Host for sure. Though it feels a little different than last time. Yeah, it does. Like, the walls and floors are all slimy in spots. It's pretty unnerving. No kidding. Naomi! Miss Kuma's not here! Where did she go? What do we do? We have to find her. Maybe she was sent somewhere else? Like when we came here before. That's true. But it's so dark in here. Hold on just a sec. Alright, here we go. That's really big. What's your point? Sure, it makes finding your way around in the dark a lot easier, doesn't it? It's not like... It's not that weird. It's not that weird a thing to have brought. Oh no, I actually find your preparedness to be kind of cute. Oh, wait, no, I, I mean it like that. I mean it like that. Get your head out your dick. Come on, let's look for Miss Kuan. Never I'm with Satoshi. I feel like I can truly be myself. I hope he'll always be by my side. Satoshi's dying. Satoshi's dying this chapter. I'm kind of here for it, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I don't actually want Satoshi to die. I just wouldn't really mind if it happened, you know? But no, actually, I would mind because if Satoshi dies, then um, Naomi would be like really sad and I don't want that. You know, if Naomi's sad, then Seiko's sad. Can't believe Heavenly Host has still been standing this whole time. Me neither. I thought Sachiko had been released from it, but I guess not. Miss Kuan? Hey. Miss Kuan? I guess they want us to go all the way around. We go in here. Ooh, if the if the angry spirits are there, then we might be in the same space as Ayumi and Yoshiki. If the angry spirits are still there. The flashlight is actually kind of helpful. I was wrong about that. The flashlight is decently helpful. So I kind of just want to save it for like when I'm not really sure about what's around me. Like right now, that's that's kind of scarily dark. I, I want to make sure I don't want walk in a tripwire. Miss Kuan, Kuan se Satoshi Nakashima. Thank goodness you two are all right. Tim, do you, Miss Kuan? There's no mistaking it. This is definitely Heavenly Host Elementary. I see. Well, have no fear. I'll protect you two with every last ounce of my strength. Every one of my students in my charge is dear to me. After all, you're all like my own children. Miss Yui said that before. Let's find Kishinuma, Shinazaki, and I and get out of here. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Naomi, you saw it too, didn't you? A little bit of Miss Yui and Miss Kuan. 
Come on, let's go. Stay close on my side, okay? This is beyond even my wildest imagination. The Nirvana is ex itself expanding due to an evil presence of some kind. I need to stop it now before it grows out of control. Ms. Kuan quietly reaffirmed her own hidden agenda. Obviously, I'm having her lead the charge. She, she can kill spirits. <laughs> oh, I did not see that. Maybe Miss Kuan, who has high spiritual presence, can make it, can, can go inside the rooms with um the evil ghosts. Miss Kuan, over there. It's a person. Plus, rap Kishinuma. Hey, say something. It could be Yoshiki or any of our other friends. Hey, over here. Let's go. Wait, Satoshi. I can't. I'm not sure I can go on. Uh. Are you okay? What's what's wrong with her? I'm fine. Sorry. That wasn't something a student should see. Is she sick with something? Come on, you don't need to worry about that. You need to stop pushing yourself so hard, Miss Kuan. Is there something nearby, Miss Kuan? Shinazaki would often say that when a spirit crosses your path, a chill runs through your body and makes your stomach feel like it's imploding. Oh, the gremlin! Unbeknownst to neither either me or Naomi, there was something nearby, standing right between us, in fact. It was gr the gremlin, and only Miss Kuan was aware of her presence. <laughs> this sudden appearance froze her in place for a moment. Naturally, Naomi and I had no reaction since neither of us could see the spirit. Goosebumps suddenly sprouted all over her body. She would later describe it as pores opening and letting the air and chilling her to the bone. She wanted to scream and cry and run away to safety, but she knew that would only lead to a very bad end. So instead, she forced herself barely to keep a cool head. I'm fine. If the channels aren't aligned, she can't do any harm. We should continue to search, but do be careful, you two. Evil spirits tend to play tricks on the living. Okay. Now, Miss Kuan took a step forward, and the gremlin looked up at her with jet black eyes. L let's go. Okay. In the midst of the stormy weather, Yuka and Satsuki finally arrived at Kisaragi Academy only to find a locked school gate accompanied by a sign reading, Notice of Temporary Closure. I thought school might be closed I thought school might be closed today. At least give us a call, sheesh. Kisaragi really sucks the big one when it comes to giving us crucial information. Didn't anything like this ever happen at your old school, Satsuki? Nah, we have way better communication network. Uh. Yo, Yuks, since we're so close, can I hop over to your place for a dip? What? But aren't your mom and dad gonna be worried if you're not home soon? Oh, hell no, not a chance. They're pretty hands off when it comes to parenting. Or maybe they're just giving me up as a lost cause. You keep saying that. Hey, you Yuka? Hey, Yuka, Yuka, stay away. Stay away from strange people. Stay away from strange people. He's a weirdo. He's a predator. Yes, that's right. But who are you? Yeah, who the hell are you? You a pedo? Fuck you want with Yuks? 
Tenji Your big brother has gotten a heavenly host. What? But big brother said he was going to Yoshiki's house. And when he didn't come home, I just assumed he slept over. That was a lie to keep you safe. But he's in real danger right now. His life is on the line. You want to save him? You can't possibly believe that nonsense, Yuke. Nothing he's saying makes any... I, I want to save him. Yuke? Good girl. Guess that aura is the real deal. Must because you came intact with Shinazaki so... It must be because you came in contact with Sachiko Sinazaki. Anyway, come on. We gotta get to Heavenly Host. Yo, Yuke! This Paddle Parker dude is like an obvious creeper. Everything he's telling you is totally cuckoo. You, you gotta know it's all a bunch of garbage, right? I'm sorry, Sachiki. But I know what this person is talking about. He knows about Heavenly Host and about Sachiko. It's not garbage, unfortunately. You are a clever one. You, uh, wherever you're going, then I'm coming too. You think I care? Just know that you hold no interest in me, so if you get lost in a nirvana, I'm not about to come looking for you. Whatever you say, dude. If you do anything funny to you, then I'll bite you in the cock. I hope you remember you said that later. You'll be eating those words. I can't wait till Misuto dies. Oh snap, we're back with Thane! Shit. The hell did Magara disappear to? I thought I saw her head pop up around here for a sec. Yoshiki. I'm sorry, but I have to give you your very first L, bro. Why did you think it was a smart idea to leave Sa I'm Shin I mean Shinazaki away? Shinazaki alone. I gotta get back. I'm really worried about Shinazaki, but I can't let that bitch go. So what do I do? Welcome back. Who's there? Is someone there? Welcome back, Ron. Whoa! Who is this? I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. But no, I can't place her. I, she was in Birthday Bash. We saw her, me and Sunny. Keys in me! Damn it, not this guy again. Dang, so they got clapped? I like them too. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Ah! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Let go of me, you bastard. With blood curdling screams, she held me down and began pummeling me with something fierce. Oh, she whooping my she whooping my back. My As if the beating wasn't enough, she began to strangle me. Let go! Shit. Get off of me! What do I do now? Nick, run! I don't have time for this! Oh shit, he threw that?! I don't have time to be playing with you guys! <laughs> the hell is up with these monsters?! I'll never find Magari like this! And if those freaks are wandering the hall, Shinazaki could be in real trouble. I should go check on her. Where do we last leave Shinazaki at? Oh. 
No! No! That was her girlfriend! Her wife! Oh man, that's so sad! To come to Tigua. Even know how he hit me though. I don't even know how he hit me. I don't understand how that's even connecting. How? That's how is that even? Get out here, bro. Just get out here. Just get out here. I don't know. What the fuck? That's where I have to go? I think I lost him. Shinozaki, where are you? Why would you leave her here, bro? There's no way she'd be in the pool, right? Or number of flies buzzing on a spigot. Turns out it's because someone shoved a severed arm into it. No way she'd come back here. I doubt she'll ever come near this place again. I told her to wait. Where the hell did she go? That was... Class rep? Okay, but where? I'm gonna see if I can... You're not our teacher. Our teacher isn't you. Oh. Go home, Miss Kuan. Just go home. Shinozaki! Shinozaki, what happened? What? Class rep? We came here from a different world. I don't know who you are. It's okay, Shinazaki. Are you alright? Are you hurt at all? Just go. Don't try to act like our teacher. You're a phony and I won't be taken in by your lies. Stop! Don't come in, Satoshi! Do as Miss Kuan says. Uh. Trust her! I was pressing trust! Miss Kuan, what? Uh, ah! Get out of here, both of you, hurry! Understood. Let's go, Naomi. Oh my goodness. Are you alright? Satoshi, to your right! What? Oh, hands. Hey. Mere inches from where I was sitting, numerous hands were reaching up at me from the floor. Get up! Over here, you two, quickly! <laughs> then all of a sudden, Miss Kuan's head broke apart into pieces and exploded outward. Wow! 
Dad. Miss Kwan, what's no, happening? No, what no, the no, hell? No, no. Hey, yo, stop laughing. Stop laughing. It ain't fu- No, no, no. We got shadow monsters? What the hell was that? Wait. No. Naomi. Did she just get kidnapped? Naomi had fainted and was completely oblivious to anything that was happening to her. Naomi! I tried to run over to her, but her body began floating off the ground higher than I could reach. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, take mercy on his impure soul. Strike down this person with one firm swing of thy divine blade. Oh, Lord. Who? What's happened? A primal scream erupted from Naomi's floating body, followed by a spray of blood and viscera as she was literally ripped into four pieces. The entire room was now very red. I realized too late that there was our presence behind me. What followed was the strangest sound I'd ever heard, and the strangest sensation as well. An axe had pierced the door behind me, striking me firmly in the head and splitting me cleanly in half. The room had spun in opposite directions, and then it was over. <laughs> That's probably the best wrong gin so far, honestly. All the wrong gins before that were, were low key kind of weak. That's probably the best one we've gotten. Trust her? We got it? Yep. Oh, that's the gremlin. The light from the classroom shone into the hallway, lightly casting my shadow across the floor. I don't think that's your shadow, bruh. And there, right by it, another smaller shadow appeared. Well, swinging an axe at me. Whoa! I immediately, instinctively ducked. Holy guacamole and eggs! What the hell was that? Are you okay, Satoshi? Yeah. The freaking gremlin, bro. We were both frozen in fear about what had just occurred. But then out popped Miss Kuan from the depths of the classroom, who, with shocking strength, grabbed our arms in her hands and ran like the wind. Miss <laughs> Kuan? We have to get away from here, run! Miss Kuan, was that Shinazaki's? No need to worry, that was a lie created by a buildup of malicious energy. It was just an illusion. I assume that. I don't, I can't imagine Ayumi actually dying at the end of this. I feel like she's too important to what's going on. She's too necessary. Really? Really? You don't need to be concerned. I'm just glad you both made it through and do that in one piece. Her face was covered in sweat and she was clearly exhausted. But she managed to smile at us reassuringly. In spite of this, however, her hands were shaking violently, belying her composure. Aren't you afraid, Miss Kuan? Naomi squeezed Miss Kuan's hand sympathetically. Yes, yes, I suppose I am scared too. Miss Kuan, please don't push yourself so hard. I don't want anyone else to die. As she said this, Naomi hugged Miss Kuan. Thank you, Nakashima. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What the cheese fiddler? What the diddy diddler? Hold on. Every time I get a talisman, like I, I get a little hard, you feel me? Make you feel complete. That's Yoshiki. 
I don't like that. Miss Kuan, that's it is. Come on. That's that's obviously Oshiki. Dang, they got him. Damn it, Shinazaki. Shinazaki, I'm sorry. Yosuke! Did bro just teleport? Damn it! Ah! Get out of here! Hold on, Satoshi. Is Satoshi proving why he's a main character? Hold on! Yoshiki, you okay? Y'all can't just teleport in here. Open the door. Satoshi, why are you, huh? Nakashima and Miss Kuan? I told you, the worst thing in the world is not knowing what happened to someone. And you went and disappeared on us anyway. I, I, I guess I did. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're so right. I'm sorry. Well, now you know. If you're ever in trouble, I'll find you, no matter where you are. Don't even think about suffering through this sort of thing on your own anymore, okay? You're a real piece of work, you know that? We'd reached a mutual understanding. A good show of faith and friendship, we fist bumped on it. But then Azusa began to moan. So anyway, what's the situation? Where's Shinazaki? Bad news. I was there with her for a while, but we got separated. This girl named Magari confronted us at the pool and stole something important from her. So I told her to wait there while I chased Magari down to get it back. But of course, not only did I lose track of Magari, I also came back to find Shinazaki gone. Why would you leave the classroom alone in here? You know better than that. I had no choice. Without that thing Magari stole, we won't be able to get back home. No need to worry about that. We can go back using Miss Kuan's stones. They're how we got over here in the first place. Whoa, you, you, you serious? We are Kishinuma. Let's all resume your search for Shinazaki. Okay. This child has already succumbed to the darkening. It's a pitiful fate, but there's nothing more we can do from her for her. We should make our retreat. <sighs> Dang, man. That was a really short chapter. Woo, that's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoy it, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and run them all. Tap into the next one. Holy crap, this chapter was short, but it was definitely eventful. Not only did we confirm 100% that Mishito was plotting something, we also have Yuka and Satsuki going to Heavenly Host now. We found out, a, we, 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 we get our first glimpse of um the Christian girls from Birthday Bash and what happened to them. And we're also, we also got Miss Kuwan, Satoshi, and Naomi in here. And they met up with Yoshiki, and now we have no clue where Ayumi is. And we're seeing the actual after effects of Misuto's plot. Man, short chapter, very freaking eventful. Peace out, I love you guys, tap into the next one.